In this video, I will describe the events that occur in each phase of mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. We'll describe the result of mitosis and define cytokinesis. The first step of mitosis is known as prophase. During prophase, the chromatin will condense to form chromosomes that are visible under the microscope. The centrosomes will start to produce microtubules, generating a structure known as the mitotic spindle. And these microtubules are growing towards the nucleus as the nuclear envelope, the outer barrier of the nucleus, starts to break down. Prometaphase is a transition to the next step, which includes the microtubules attaching to the centromeres of chromosomes to complete the formation of the mitotic spindle. Metaphase occurs as the mitotic spindle pulls the chromosomes until they line up right at the midline of the cell, forming what's known as the metaphase plate. Chromosomes will be lined up with one sister chromatid attached to a mitotic spindle on each side of the cell. So the centrosome is located on two poles of the cell and the microtubules are radiating towards the midline and are attaching to a cystic chromatid on either side of each chromosome. Then the anaphase step of mitosis occurs when the mitotic spindles pull the sister chromatids apart. The mitotic spindle will draw the sister chromatids towards each pole of the cell. And then telophase occurs when the nuclear envelope reforms around the chromosomes and those chromosomes start to uncoil and loosen back into the uncoiled chromatin within the nucleus. Then the mitotic spindle will break down. At the end of telophase, one cytoplasm contains two nuclei. Each of those nuclei contains a complete set of chromosomes. Following nuclear division, mitosis, the next step in cell division is cytokinesis, the division of the cytoplasm. A cleavage furrow forms as proteins start to pinch off the plasma membrane and eventually they pinch off forming two separate cells with each with their own cytoplasm containing their own set of organelles, including a nucleus with a complete set of genetic instructions. And so the result of mitosis is two daughter cells, and those daughter cells are essentially genetically identical because one sister chromatid from DNA replication was delivered into each of the two new daughter cells.